felters and welcome so today we are going to make these little pigs um, I've made a Tamworth and a little pink pig and then a saddle back on the end we're going to make together so they've got really simple uh, legs and tails let's get started so what we're going to need to make another one of these little piggies so we're going to go for a saddle back which is going to have pink this is an eggshell color from world of wool carded corridor slither eggshell and it's a really lovely pink this is a black it's not really it's a really dark brown but i'm hoping to get away with it and some white uh, core then I've got the two coasters or two bits of card to help make the ears, eyes, scissors, a tiny bit of um, pipe cleaner. This helps me making the legs and a couple of needles and the mat and that's it really. So they're really, really simple. The only thing you use the pipe cleaner for is the tail. Straight into tea drinking there. So first off, you're going to take your core wool, whatever you're using on the inside, and we're going to make the body. Um, I was about to take a bit out then, but what's the point? We're just going to wrap it up inside the core wool. So as always, wrap up really, really tight at this stage. You want to get rid of the air because that will make it far easier to felt. This is one of my multi needle tools which um, works so well to speed things up. I have a video on that. I will link it in the description or at the end. So just start to felt it together. It doesn't need to be really solid or really firm at this stage. Now I was happy with the length. I'll give you measurements in a minute, but um, I needed to make it a little bit rounder, a little bit fatter. So I've just added a bit more all around the outsides and then do exactly the same rolling it really tight and then just sort of tack it on felt it together we're not making it really firm yet so at this stage it is five inches wrong way round five inches by three inches and it actually finishes up exactly the same size once you've added all the bits on and then firmed it down so this is a black um carded wool that we're just putting on top or it's a really dark brown so it doesn't notice and um, wrap it round so the end half of the saddle back the sort of back end has more black but if you're doing a pink pig you're just going to do the whole thing pink so it's really easy so just wrap it round take off any excess and just tack it into place so it stays there and the good thing about the carded wool is you see I've got all that excess at the end there I can just fold it over and under and the joins aren't going to show um, carded wool is so much easier than using tops all the time if you are confused about wool go back to my beginners playlist and have a look through and there's a really good video on wool and that this is the front end of the pig so I'm just taking uh, some of the black or dark brown wrapping it round just to cover it and I'm leaving a gap through the middle and we're going to put the pink on top of that I think it worked better doing it with the pink on last sorry rather than uh, putting the pink on first and then the black I think it gives it a much you can get a nicer edge with the pink so the pink is in a slither so it's really nice and easy to apply and put it on and you don't want straight edges how nice is that you don't have to be neat um, just put it on wrap it all the way around and have a little it's nice to have it sort of curving and waving a little bit so it looks a bit more natural and we're just getting everything into place and on so we can look at it and then we're going to build up the nose a little bit more so these are really simple oval shapes or at the shape of a rugby ball and then after you've got that shape build up the nose area so you just do this with the pink and you just build up layer upon layer so that's the first layer I add there then I add another one and again it's just over the nose and then another one on top of that so because by the time you felt it down it will sort of squash back quite a bit so you just want this sort of a little bit cone shaped and you can squidge it with your fingers now you're going to take a needle and you're going to go around the whole thing and you're going to smooth it see that's how we get the nice 
uh, finished bit. These are two spiral needles put together with an elastic band. So let's have a look, see how smooth you can get it. That's much better, much firmer. We're just going to go over and do the whole thing now. So there we go, as I said, he ended up being five inches by three inches. It doesn't have to be exact for your pig, but sort of roughly those sizes. I'm just having a, a, an idea of where the eyes are going to go. So let's just move on to the nose or the nostrils. Now I appreciate it's a lot easier on those pink and um, orange coloured pigs. The black is going to be slightly harder to see, but uh, he still had to have a nose so um, take some wool in the color that you're doing if you're doing a pink pig white is fine um, and just fold it over fold it over fold it over so you sort of form a button shape and then start to felt that together um, I always felt the underside of it first and then I go around the edge holding it between my fingers be really careful of your fingers here and it just uh, needle felt it into an oval shape once you've done that felt through the top of each side so you're sort of forming two little circles and then the nostrils are going to go inside that we'll do a close-up in a minute so you can see that a lot better but literally if you felt the middle of it down a bit it sort of gives it like that bump to it so it looks um more nostril like so there we go i'm just doing the actual nostrils by felting in and just making a little hole so they're really easy and there you go you can see it up close now eyes as i said they go back a bit and up so felt the hole with your needle and then take your awl or owl whatever you call it um, or even some scissors the end of some scissors and make the hole for your eyes now these eyes do get covered up with the ears but I still liked to um, put them in. So I'm using 5mm black plastic eyes. I just order from Etsy, from Cello Express. They have loads of eyes. So put both eyes in, check their level before you glue them. You can just see them there. And I take a tiny bit of, it's an all purpose glue, nothing special, and pop them in and hold them in there and they will literally dry within seconds. And then we can move on to the ears. So for the Tamworth and the Pink Pig, I used some white inside. So it gave it a little bit more definition, a little bit more detail. You don't have to. Um, but obviously for the Saddleback, they're just plain black. So take some wool and even it out a bit so it's quite flat. And I really like the multi-needle tool just to start this off. And I imagine I'm doing the shape of a leaf and I hold on to one end because that's going to be the fluffy end that's going to help us attach it to the pig. And the other end is going to be a point. So I felt it down and then I fold over the edges. And we're going to use the card method or the two pieces of card in a minute to get a really nice clean edge. But you can form quite a good ear shape just like this. So once you've felted it down, you have to peel it off the mat always peel and turn over and turn over and do the other side and then I neaten through with a single needle and then this is is two coasters that I use because they're quite thick anything card plastic anything that's not going to let the needle go through put the um, ear between it and then felt down and you'll start to get a really lovely neat edge now you see I'm holding them really firmly my other hand because you don't want the edge to be too thick. So the more you squeeze it together, the thinner the ear is going to be. And so you just move it along, do a bit more, then turn it over, do the other side. And you've got a really sort of clean edge to your ear quite easily. 
and I just neaten the end bit. If you um, you don't want the end bit to go too blunt, so try and keep a point to the end. And then the saddleback ears are going to be pointing forward, so very different to the other two pigs. So fold them in half so that they stay together and have a bit of shape. You don't need it to be really curved uh, like the um, sheep ears that I do are really shut flat. And then I had too much wool on the bottom of this one because the eye is quite close. So I've trimmed it off and we will go a bit closer. So you're going to felt them pointing backwards and then fold it forwards. So start felting through and attaching. There should be enough wool there. If you're doing the pink pig, I will show you in a minute, you can add some pink on top to smooth the edges and the joins. But do spend a bit of time making sure they're nice and secure here. And then that's how they're going to go. We're going to fold them forwards. So here we are. I folded one and felted it down. I'm just going to show you how. And you could do this with the pink pig with nice big ears folded forwards because that's um, quite a good look for pigs as well. So fold it forwards and I'm just going to felt right along the edge here and it just keeps the ear down. And as you can see, the eyes do get covered up, but I do like the fact that they've got eyes underneath it. So just all along the edge and that keeps it down. Nice and easy. I think he's got good character, this one. So you could do, with these ones, I just felted right down and then I covered up with extra carded wool to cover up the joins. But you could fold them forwards. You could do them a lot bigger and I think it would be quite sweet for the pink one. The Tamworths, their ears do stick up. I think I did his ears too big, to be honest. But let's go on to the tail. Nice and simple. The pipe cleaner will just give you the curl because otherwise it, it's a bit tricky. You can use a piece of wire if you want. So take your wool, but pipe cleaners it, it attaches so easily to. Now hold on tight to the end of it and then wrap it round. And this is just feeding the wool on nice and thin to keep it nice and flat. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have to be super thin. Um, and then just felt that top bit so it stays there. We've got a little bit of speeding up because it is quite this is quite monotonous really for you to watch it all. And then just wrap it round, wrap it round, start attaching it. And just be a little bit light because you've got the pipe cleaner in the middle. So hold your needle lightly so that if you hit the middle of the pipe cleaner it doesn't break. And we're going to leave the end of the tail fluffy for attaching as well. That ends fluffy. And the length I did was about three and a half. It's up to you. You might want your tail to be a little bit longer, a little bit curlier. Trim off any bits at the end. Roll it between your hands. That always helps. And then you can give it a twist. And that's how we're going to do the tail. So put it to one side and we'll attach that at the end. Next, we're going to do the legs. And you could put pipe cleaners in the legs, but I use this piece of wire to help me form the legs. And then you just pull the wire out and firm them up. And it really, really helps me if I need to do something straight. Um, so hold it really tightly at the end there and then just wrap round, wrap round as tight as you can. And you're looking for the leg to be about two inches in length. I'll measure in a minute. So this needs to be about three inches by the time you put it on because you're going to felt upwards to make the uh, foot nice and flat and that will lose some of the length. So just pop it on and then fix it on again, being quite light with your needle because you've got the wire in the middle. And so just once you've fixed it on and it's staying, you can then felt upwards to form the flat hoof. And just watch your needle. It does go quite far down, so make sure your fingers, you can see there, make sure your fingers are quite far back. But um, I really find the wire helps to keep things nice and straight. And fluffy bit at the end, that's a leg I've done earlier. And then you take the um, wire out and then you can carry on firming it up again. This takes a good five, six minutes per leg, making it nice and firm and solid. If you did want a pipe cleaner inside, that would definitely make it nice and strong. But I was trying to do this as a very easy beginner level. And I turn it round and I felt from the top, but leave the top end fluffy. Roll between 
the hands always helps and there's two legs now um so it's about two two and a half inches but firmly felted was about an inch and a half and then it was about three quarters of an inch wide so it was quite wide but it's up to you they don't have to be identical to mine and then the saddleback has two pink legs two black legs so I had um, I was just popping it under the ear so I had a bit too much fluff so again I trimmed it down you might be fine especially the back legs you don't need to trim down and I was just popping it just at the base of the ear check their level as you can see I've already done one and then just you start felting through the top and just secure it and then check its level again and then carry on securing it and if it's not level you just pull it off so easy so once it's fairly secure take some extra wool to cover the join and it'll give you a nice smooth finish there we go and then do exactly the same with the back legs i had them slightly forward from the bottom not that much forwards and now we're on to attaching the tail which again <laughs> with the black it's really hard to see but take the fluffy end of the tail hold it roughly in position in the middle of the bottom and then felt through minding the pipe cleaner it's exactly the same technique felt it on attach it and then put some extra wool over the top of the join because it will strengthen it and cover up any marks and there we go your pig is done I think they've worked really well my daughter loves the middle one she wants to take it away and you could do loads of variations on these so i really hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching sheldon sheep will be next because i've videoed it and done it um, but yes i was really pleased with the pink pigs really enjoyed doing them and i do think they're a really simple easy beginner project take care everybody and we'll see you again soon